Hi everyone, I'm Mike Archer, I'm the product manager at Sunnel and I'm here to take you through the NVMS software, uh, the software supplied with uh, all our IP products and will be on the CD. Um, so I've taken the liberty here of copying it to the desktop, uh, you can see it's in a simple folder and this will be the first installation on this machine so I'll quickly go through the install, it um, doesn't take much time and you can see all it's ready it's created a desktop icon and finished so that was rather painless uh, so here we go if we double click and first thing we do is log in and the IP is admin and admin and we can remember our password and sign in automatically so you can uh, obviously create uh, non-administrator users if the uh, software needs to be used in an environment where uh, perhaps a, a manager or a, a guard or uh, however it will be actually used and uh, that doesn't require administrator level um, so there we go login so initializing uh, just takes a few minutes when it uh, first starts it just initializes the database and uh, we can see here it's a completely virgin system nothing's been installed and uh, all the uh, defaults are set on the software. So just a quick one, uh, obviously simple 2v2 two two layout. Uh, you can change your layouts to suit how many cameras, what you've got in store. Um, I quickly, you can quickly see the icons here. Um, obviously full screen, uh, exit full screen. Uh, this is hide information, and show information. Uh, that relates to when the uh, device is connected um, which I'll get on and do now so first things first we need to add a device um, because here we're actually on a computer that doesn't have any LAN devices connected um, I will attempt to connect uh, a camera over the internet um, so here we go so device manager first thing to do uh, video device management here we go so device list uh, nothing added um, you can quickly see here all the settings available for all our devices um, all the, the, the same information is true of course inside the web browser so exactly what the NVMS is you're able to configure is the same as all those all the settings on the actual uh, devices as well um, so manager first of all so click manager and we need to add a device device type is IP camera DVR DVS IP name aren't currently relevant um, obviously DVR and DV and DVS is obviously if you have a DVS that's the video server device uh, but m m most of the time the connection is the camera so we'll give her an arbitrary name. I'll use a fantastic name called Test. Um, by all means, make it more meaningful and more useful than my selection. But for the purpose of the uh, video, I'll just call it Test for now. Okay, so we'll connect our camera that's on the internet. Um, so I'll put in the IP. Um, so this is over the WAN um, you can see here I have the camera set as a port that's different from the default um, purely it's chosen that way um, of course you can have the many cameras on the same IP um, especially if it's a WAN because obviously IPs directly on the internet are uh, very much a premium on IP4 um, and of course you all you need to do is to have uh, many different ports set for each device to have a different control port and therefore your router you just need to set the port forwarding rule uh, relative to the camera purely just on the port um, so okay we've got our camera here we just click add and we have the camera there and 
save. Very important to save. Uh, don't forget to save. Um, I often do forget myself, but you can be sure that you do need to do a save, and then the device is successfully saved. Okay, so we click exit. Two things to note is the little question mark means something's wrong, of course. He's not actually logged in. And the same principle goes here on the device list. So as soon as we click on here, we would go and connect with the login. This is, of course, the login to the actual device. And as soon as this is done, this will retrieve all the information relative to the actual camera. Let's put it to a smaller layout. And now we've got a little green. Green is good. Green means we have a connection. Uh, th just a quick note here, the y you have to, even though it's uh, a, uh, a one video IP camera, um, it seems somewhat unusual to have a additional drill down. Uh, the reason for this is we have the video server uh, devices which can be uh, one, two and four channels. So of course with the one effective IP and single port it's able to have four independent camera channels on that device and this is why there is that addition drill down um, to get to the camera. Okay, so camera, we just drag to the display and hopefully, ooh, we have a picture, that's good. Um, so, hide information, all this information about the stream, the name, and all these icons we can hide. So we tidy up the layout. I'll quickly put it back just to show you here. Um, we're reading stream two. Stream two, of course, is the uh, second stream, if you like, um, which is at a, a lower resolution, um, still real time. Um, obviously, I can uh, tell you this is a Sunday evening, and of course, this is the office camera. Um, uh, someone obviously has turned on the lights, um, so we got a, a bit of a display. It's a little bit fuzzy, but that's uh, it's, it's not so important. Um, I can I can double click a camera, and you can see what will happen is uh, the stream will then dynamically change to stream one. I, I hadn't touched it. The we've pre we've pre-programmed the software so it automatically downs the stream relative to the layout. Th there's no point looking at you know lots of two megabit um, two meg streams um, on these layouts when you, you can't see the pixels so it, it seems um, totally pointless we go back to our four before layout for four camera layout two v two of course um, so one of the more most common things people forget is the layouts. Now our little hidden layout option is this little icon there. So if I left click here we can save our layout and that's succeeded. So the layout will remember however I've propagated the displays with what cameras um, or devices have been selected where. So obviously if you have a a nice grouped um, front door, back door, rear door, gates, etc. If it's a nice layout, it is very tiresome to continuously re having to select all your cameras. So <coughs> you would think I could close my software now and exit, and then we can reload. Obviously, we tick the automatic login. We will try and click again. Second time lucky. So it actually loads. 
so where's our layout? Well, of course, I forgot to do something. I did this deliberately, just to show you. Here we have our camera back again. Now in System Manager, one of the options is uh, restore layout automatically. This is inadvertently or currently not enabled by default. So I'll, I will apply that and I will need to, I don't, I don't actually need to save my layout, so I've already saved it. Um, but we'll quickly show you if I quit <coughs> re-login now. Okay, it's just a second time lucky again to install to run. And you can see it's instantly <coughs> restored our layouts. So a uh, couple of things that's not always obvious and a lot of questions are asked on this is these icons here. Um, two, three, and four. Um, in fact, that's a monitor. Two, three, four. If your PC uh, Windows system has multi-monitor support, um, these will uh, be enabled. Obviously, relating to how many monitors you have connected, and after each instance, you will then be presented with a new video layout which excludes the uh, device list. Um, so therefore, uh, you can have four lots of 36 on the screen at one go. You notice when I actually changed my layout, the uh, it, it kept me number one as number one. Um, so the the layout numbering it is retained regardless of uh, what size you're selecting. It, it would seem somewhat tiresome when, uh, oh, I can see people on the camera. Uh, you, you have lots of different layouts and you have to keep adding the same numbers to different layouts. That, that, that doesn't make sense. So we, we decide to uh, make the numbering obviously one, two, three, four, and obviously then up to nine and then sixteen. So I, I guess the, the 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 main point being is if you had uh, larger windows, the the in the most important cameras will be perhaps the first ones. Um, that would seem not an unreasonable assumption on the software to do that. Um, so that's why it's uh, wh why it works this way. So we've got these little icons here. This is 3D positioning, obviously relative to a PTZ camera. This is a, a fixed camera, so it isn't going to do a great deal for me. Um, this shows the recording. This is audio, and this will allow me to uh, remove the actual camera. Um, I can I can actually do my left mouse click and drag. And it's that's uh, a digital zoom. I'm, I'm just using my scroll wheel on the mouse. Hopefully, it's not going too fast for the recording software. And this, this little icon here that just hides the uh, PTZ. <coughs> so there you go. That that's the quick uh, getting started for the NVMS software uh, from Sunel. Thanks very much.